Hi class. In this video, what I want to do is I want to show you how to do some of the summary statistics um, very, very easily um, using a website that I provided in the classroom. All right, so Mindscapes number two and three for section 9.2 ask you um, how to find some very simple summary statistics, things called the mean, the median, and then the minimum first quartile, the median we had, third quartile, and the maximum. Okay, so you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to use this website I provided for you. Okay, and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the data and you're going to copy it and you're going to paste it in here. Now, unfortunately, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove all the dollar signs on the data. I know this is a little bit of a pain, um, but, you know, just just go through it and remove all the dollar signs because this website won't work if there's dollar signs there um, it only takes just raw data it doesn't include you know any of these signs here will will throw the website off so we're going to do delete all this and then all you're going to have to do is hit calculate and see i made a little error to let you know you made a mistake i forgot that little dollar sign there so just hit calculate and right off the bat Okay, you're going to see this right here is the summary statistics you're looking for. All right, so it asks for the mean. It says round to two decimal places. You'll see the answer is 26.14. The mean, when I round this, 26 point, that 3 becomes a 4, so it's 26.14 very easily. The median, 25. The median, boom, 25 right there. When you go to Mindscape 3, the minimum and the maximum. It says the minimum is $6, the maximum is 45 So here, what you're going to have to do is they changed the data setup. So you're going to have to copy it and redo it. But for the previous data set, the minimum values you can see were 14 the maximum was 15 And then right here, it lists the quartiles. Q1 is the first quartile. Q2 is the second quartile, which is also the same thing as the median, and Q3 is the third quartile here, which is 26. So you can use this very, very easily right here to find things like the min, max, the range, the mean, the median, the standard deviation, and the quartiles. All right, class, I hope this helps, and try to use this website and try to avoid doing these problems by hand.